Hello everyone, Ladislas Morris from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today we're going to be discussing how to obtain residency in Mexico with Sergey. Sergey, how are you? Fine, thanks. Hello everybody. So Sergey is an agent specializing in helping people obtain residency here in Mexico. He helped me with mine. I now have permanent residency in Mexico. So can you please elaborate on a few of the ways, the most common ways that people can obtain residency here in Mexico? Yeah. The first way it's when you have enough money, incomes or savings. For example, uh, it's the name of this residence, Solvencia Economica. If you have $2,006 monthly on the last six months and you can show all the papers to the Mexican embassy in your country and you can explain of this money, uh, they can give you the special visa and with this visa you just need to come to Mexico. In, in one month we can change the special visa to the residence temporal card for one year. After one year we can renovate it and after four years of the renovation we can make permanent residence and with the permanent residence just one year for waiting until the citizenship. The second way if you have savings uh, for the last 12 months it should be about 40 to 45,000 US dollars for the each month and it's the same you show the papers to the Mexican embassy in your country they will give you the after the interview the special visa with this visa you come here the same way in the first option incomes or savings six months or 12 months the second option I, I think the, and what's really interesting about uh -huh. this is that there are no really physical presence requirements so it's a very good plan B. So it's something that a lot of people are looking for nowadays and Mexico offers this. You don't need to spend half the year in Mexico to maintain the residency. You just need to come here to get it and then come here whenever you need to renew it. And then after a few years, it turns into permanent residency. And permanent residency in Mexico is really interesting because when I look at my own card here, there's no expiry date. Um, yeah, but just for the parents, or just for the adults, up, up to eight, 18 years old uh, because for the kids is mm -hmm. for four years for the adults is for the whole the life for whole life yes cool. yes so that becomes very <laughs> valuable so essentially you just start the process now and then in four years if things don't change with just a few trips to to mexico you would get permanent residency in mexico and which is valid for life and importantly that does not necessarily trigger tax residency, okay? So you can be a resident of Mexico and you can be a permanent resident of Mexico without triggering a tax residency in Mexico, unless if you have the center of your interest here or you spend you know, at least half the year in Mexico. So, I mean, I'm not giving uh, tax advice here, but essentially it's very possible to be a permanent resident here without being a tax resident and that's a very valuable residency to have in times of uncertainty such as such as ours. Yes, yes, absolutely. So then the other way is through investment. Yeah. When you buy some property by your own name, you should pay like uh, 350,000 US dollars in total. Roughly. Yeah. Or maybe a little bit more, depends by the economic situation. And the second option, you can open the company even if you are a tourist, you don't need to be the resident here to open company by your own name. And UK can buy this property to the company. And in this case, you just need to pay like half an price, 175,000 US dollars, twice less. And the same, after you can start the process in any embassy outside the Mexico, in Mexican embassy, after the they check in all the papers so they will give you this special visa investor visa and with this visa on the passport you need to come to mexico uh, during half a year 180 days and in one month we continue the process here to get the temporary residence card fantastic so essentially buy a house here or buy a house through a company less money um, a bit more accounting, etc. But a lot of people actually use corporations here to, to invest in real estate. So two interesting options. When I really look at it, generally any person that is that has the money to pay one hundred and seventy thousand dollars, 
through a company or $350,000 to buy real estate directly would be able to qualify through economic solvency anyways. Um, so in many cases, it's a bit redundant because anyways, there's that easier way to qualify. And then I think what's important to note as well is in terms of economic solvency, it really depends on the consulate and the embassy at which you apply. So you mentioned 2,600 minimum monthly income for six months or uh, 43 to $45,000 over 12 months in your, on your bank account. But it really depends. Um, some embassies want more. Yeah, and some embassies uh, have the one more interesting option for PR. When you have, for example, it's like a retiring visa, when you have more than 4,500 incomes or about $175,000 savings on your bank account during this 12 month, it's possible to uh, start the process for PR for permanent residence from the very beginning. But of course it depends by the different uh, options by the different embassies and always you need to check because from the beginning we advise to send them the letter they will explain you exactly what you need to present and after you can start the process and that's why it's important to, to use someone like Sergey for, for this process because there are the rules but then they're a bit different in all the different embassies and consulates and you know sure Sergey comes with a fee but then your life is a lot is a lot easier and then but he helps you essentially choose the consulates as well, and then navigate the whole process, write the proper motivation letter, et cetera, and then come here, set everything up. I mean, I literally just had to show up at appointments and I got, you know, I got all my, all my paperwork done. So that was, that was um, an efficient use of my time. But yes, this option of being able to immediately get permanent residency for some types of people is very, very interesting. And then also, if you have, you, you wanted to mention as well, if people have a child here in Mexico, can you elaborate? Yes, it's one very interesting option too. When you're waiting for the baby, you can come to Mexico, just pay for the medicine like some dollars. And after the childbirth, uh, in one month, usually, or even less, you can get your PR cards for the whole the family, not only for the parents, but for the siblings, for the grandmas, grandpas, and it's really easy. And you like a skip the process of the temporary residence because from the very beginning you get your permanent cards. So this is absolutely amazing. So essentially, and everyone should have their kid in Mexico, objectively. Um, you come to Mexico, you have the child here, there's great medical care the kid becomes Mexican and because you are the parent of a naturally born Mexican citizen you are entitled to permanent residency for life as well as the other parents as well as the grandparents on both sides as well as the siblings so this is absolutely a life hack um, Sergey we're gonna do another video with this with on, on this very topic with Sergey because he has an agency specializing in birth tourism in Mexico, setting up the whole package to make sure that um, to make sure that the mother is taken care of, the good hospitals are chosen, good doctors, good um, care after the birth, etc. But that'll be another video. But um, Sergey specializes in, in this as well. Yeah. So economic solvency, investments, retired people, birth tourism, any other ways? Yeah. Just two options if you are have employer in Mexico or the second option if you are married in the Mexican woman, for example, and uh, it's easier to get a temporary uh, residence card. Fantastic. Thank you, Sergey. So there is a link below with more information on Sergey services and on how to obtain residency here in beautiful Mexico. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye. You can go to my website, thewanderinginvestor.com, and sign up to the private list. It's entirely free. This way, you will be getting insider information as I travel around the world looking for 
opportunities. Lastly, feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.